All right, this one's gonna be on a Napster client uh, called XNAP. Uh, we haven't done a GY in a while, but this one's a Java uh, application, so it should work cross-platform, you know, Mac, Windows, Linux, and stuff like that. But uh, if you haven't used Napster in a while, uh, that thing's been shut down. However, there's this thing called uh, the Open App, which means that uh, people can host their own like Napster servers, and that's the hard part of you know the Open App uh, thing is you actually have to find the servers. Uh, there's a bunch of clients that's still available, but the servers is what you want to get, and uh, it's not many left. I'd probably say like under 10 or something like that that's actually still active. Uh, I mean like public ones. I don't know about private ones. But anyways, this is the program. Uh, when you first start it up, um, I think you have to go to the wizard in here. So you do like the uh, setup wizard here, right? And you know you click next, next, and then if you want to put a username, it doesn't matter. And here you want to tell it where you want to download to. You know your download folder and your upload folder. And then um, hit next. And then if your connection has firewall or not, you uh, you know check it here. And as far as your connection, you know they have different ones here. And then you click finish and all that. I already did that, so we don't have to do that. Uh, the next thing you need to do is you have to have to get the open app. Uh, like I said, most clients, their servers are dead. So you actually have to like do your own imports. And um, let me show you the file here. So this is the file I downloaded. Um, what is this here? Paul's blah, blah, blah works dot uh, WSX. And then all you got to do is go to this open app. Um, tab here and then all you do is do um, import right and you find that file uh, what was that in our downloads and this one here and then you put open and then it will load it up here and then you have like a list of servers and then it'll take a while to connect to it so I'm connected to six servers right now there's uh, 316 users how many terabytes um, 70 Seven eleven terabytes. All right, there you go. And you know you can search from here. So you have your servers connected, and now you can actually go to um, what is that? Search, and you can search for you know anything. Um, you know if you ever used Napster in the old days, uh, AXXO. Some movies still exist. We'll try and be legitimate. We're gonna do a uh, Linux. All right. Anything in there? Nothing. Okay, how about uh, Ubuntu or something like that? So you see you have an ISO, so you can just double click on it. Uh, and you can wait for it to download. Like, look at this one here. It's downloading. All right. So there you go. That's how you use Napster, uh, pretty much. They do have some settings in here if you want to uh, change stuff. I mean, most of these stuff don't work anymore, for reals. But, uh... That's what you got here. All right. Anything else in here? Pretty much it. So as far as getting the servers, that's one location to get it. And I'll show you the web page here. What was that one? I think it's my bookmark somewhere here. Napster. Okay, there's a bunch of them here. Open them all of them. So this one uh, is the one where you I downloaded this one here. Um, you know, the 2015 one here, you download that. If you want some other servers, uh, these ones are Japanese ones. I couldn't connect to it. I think maybe it's a regional thing. But here's another list of servers. If you're in Japan, you might you know be closer and they'll allow you to connect. I'm not sure if it's private or public or not I don't know I don't read Japanese but you can read it here and post your comments if you like I do have this other one for Japan like I said I don't know if it works because I try to but you know I'm not in Japan so it didn't let me connect but you can try it out if you're Japanese and you live in Japan all right anyways uh, what's the other one there's this Wayback Machine um, this site used to work Back when I did my open app uh, application demo, um, but it doesn't work no more. But they do have some servers listed. Some of them do work. 
you know, as trial and error. Uh, you can use the Wayback Machine here to look at the servers that it was listed. So there's open nap there. Anyways, that's how you get these servers, uh, you know, if you want to try it. Now, that one was the GUI. And this one actually works with, like, you know, multiple servers. But if you want to use the uh, command line one, it's just called open nap. Um, or is it, I mean, it's just called nap here. And I did a review on this one, um, I think, four or five years ago. And, you know, you can connect to this. No problems. All right. So this is the command line one, or the end curse one, I mean. And this one, it only works with one server. So, and, yeah, one server, and it only works with MP3s. I tried to use it with other, um, you know, trying to find movies and stuff like that. It did. It didn't work, so uh, FYI, if you're trying to use this, I think there's some configs you can do, but it's very old and it's not maintained anymore. However, it still works if you just want to use uh, it for uh, music only. Um, that's what I've been using it for. But this one, it works with you know anything um, that the person is sharing. So you know audio, video, images, software, documents, whatever it is, uh, you can search from here. And it's like the old school Napster days. Uh, you know, there's still quirks to it. Like sometimes it doesn't download, um, you know, um, or it says Q, but it doesn't download and stuff like that. So, and I, I'm not sure if it can resume or not. Anyways, if you wanted to feel nostalgia and use Napster in 2020, <laughs> that's what you can do there. Uh, like I said, the most important part is here is just the open app servers. You have to, you have to find one that actually works. As far as the client, there's a bunch of other clients, you know, there's closed source one and open source one. You can use whatever you want. But like I said, um, the servers is what you really want to, you know, get. Uh, if you know of a, a, a good place that has up-to-date servers, let me know because, I don't know, I still use it from time to time. Still pretty cool to check it out. Anyways, that's XNAP. Um, should be in the AUR, not probably in other repositories at the moment because it's a really old program. And like I said, it's not been maintained. But it still works if you're into old school Napster. That'll be it for this one.